welcome to a few folks. So first, Chris Ford, who I think most people know is our council member, John Ely, in the back, because we couldn't be here without his wall uh, today. And go have breakfast over there after this and say thanks, because he's letting us put the mural up on it. Um, we also couldn't be here today without Drew. Oh, there he is. Drew Philbin, who is our artist today. Um, Susan McNeil Schaefer with uh, Mission Hills BID. She's small, there she is, right up in front. Um, we couldn't be out here without her and her passion as well. Um, so let me maybe give you a little bit of background. So I think it was about four or five years ago, and a group of us who were on the Mission Hills Town Council, I know Bobby Rast was there with me at the time, um, we were approached by a group called Combat Arts, and um, the head of that group, Elizabeth Warren, I think was her name, is that right? Yeah, got it. Annie's always the boss. So anyway, uh, she approached us about wanting to uh, create a mural for her post 9-11 combat veterans. And um, we were thinking about what is there in Mission Hills and suddenly we decided, hey, we have a wall right here. And so um, we worked with them, a group of six or seven of us on the town council to create a mural that I'm sure most of you saw because you drove by it almost every day. And that mural was up for probably almost three years and then we decided it had run its course and it was time to come down and um, at that time I was thinking well we still have this big wall we have to think about what's going to go up next and about that time I was inspired by our neighbor and good friend John Birch um, who most of you are drinking his coffee right now from, <laughs> from the Meshuga Shack but I think that um, most of you know that post the Trump election he put up a black and white sign around his um, coffee shack that basically talked about how everybody, immigrants, Muslims, Syrians, everybody is welcome there. Not only at his coffee shack, but I think the spirit of Mission Hills. And so that was up for two years, about, about two years. And as I understand it, um, somebody unfortunately complained about it. And that one complaint led to it being taken down. Now the good part about it is it's on display in the Museum of Man. Is that right? They you have it there. Be? I don't they think have it's on there. display. Yeah, yeah they have um, it. <laughs> and as I heard about that, I was I was angry, as I think a lot of us can politically get in today's environment. Um, and then all of a sudden, I said, "Well, hey, here's an opportunity to turn that anger into something positive, because we have a big wall that's in need of a message, and what a better one than a message about diversity and the acceptance um, of diversity in Mission Hills." And so I started doing some research on potential mural. It's really exciting to be here um, for this wonderful added value for our beautiful historic community. Um, I think really Karen said it all. There's a lot of people to thank for the genesis of this, bringing this all together. Of course, Karen, for your leadership, and John as business owners that are to provide that space uh, for John and your vision, and really trying to make sure that you know post. Uh, with an era that we're in now, uh, that we are reminding that there are many people that support each other and that do welcome each other because that is really the heart and spirit of the community of Mission Hills. Susan and the work that we all do with the BID and of course, you know, to Drew and our artists, thank you so much for your concept. Uh, we have a lot going on in the, in the space of public art and just at the other end of the community here, of course, in Presidio Park. Uh, we're undertaking right now an actually publicly funded art project uh, that I hope you all will begin to know about and engage. It's at its uh, early stages right now. We're still gathering input from the selected artists to decide what we want to do with the history and the, uh, the institution of that space. Um, but I'm really excited for the, the ability for us to be able to incorporate public art into the rest of the community. And of course, you as business owners and what's going on here, you're able to make something wonderful happen faster uh, than sometimes the public process otherwise would afford. So, Murals, of course, are going to be our, our pretty deep. There's a lot in here, right? You can just be flying by here and say that's a really nice piece of art and take it in as a whole really fast. But when you really stop and uh, be, be, be able to appreciate it, um, you can probably get in to see really the depth and the detail and the message um, that is really embedded within a mural project. So we're really, really excited for this added value here on our main street here in Mission Hills. And I'm just excited to be a small part of the proceedings here this morning.
good already. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> 